Hello and welcome back to Byte Review, where this time having a look at the very cool and super futuristic Windows Continuum. So what is Continuum? Well, Continuum is a way of bringing a full desktop PC experience from your mobile phone. And for its first iteration, damn is it convincing. It's all made possible through the new Lumia 950 or 950 XL combined with Microsoft's Display Dock, a really well-built station for Continuum. You plug your Lumia into the front via USB Type-C of course, and use the plethora of ports around the back to get yourself connected to a monitor, keyboard and mouse, or you can use Bluetooth if you fancy. Once you've done that, you're greeted with a super familiar Windows Start screen that looks and acts just like a PC. Sure, it has its drawbacks, this is a phone remember, and it isn't the full Windows 10, so legacy apps are out of the picture, but the apps that do work, or the universal apps that Microsoft calls them, work so well it's almost hard to tell the difference between them and their desktop counterparts. Office is a shining example of how powerful this can be. Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote all work flawlessly and integrate with OneDrive wonderfully. If there is ever a poster child for how good universal apps can be, then Office is surely it other developers should really take note. Outlook is another fantastic example of this. It scales up really well for the big screen and is utterly convincing for a desktop email client, allowing you to smash through emails like you normally would. Interestingly, if you don't have a mouse or a keyboard, you can just use the phone to control it completely. There are other universal apps out there as well of course. Tweetium is a great representation, blowing up your Twitter feed into a pleasing view while retaining what makes it great about a mobile client. And Windows Photo and Video Viewer adapts really well for showing off your latest snaps and videos. Microsoft Edge Internet Browser also deserves a shout out as well. I'd almost forgotten how much you can do in an internet browser. For example, while Google is absent from Microsoft's mobile offerings, it's ever so present for browsers. So getting onto YouTube, Gmail, Hangouts or even just checking Google Docs is again nice and easy. I can finally manage my YouTube account from a Windows phone, albeit from Continuum. However, and it is quite a big however, don't expect to get the speeds you're used to at desktop. This is running from your phone of course, and it's easy to be reminded of that when you load a media heavy website. Take The Verge for instance, which seems to take an obscene amount of time to load. However, less complex sites don't take too long to show their faces. Reddit and TechRadar for instance load relatively quickly. The browser can also be used to fill some of the gaps left by the lack of apps. For instance, Netflix runs just fine in Edge, loading and playing content with no hiccups. The Twitter website is as good as ever, although a little slow. Tumblr, SoundCloud and other social media platforms work just as you would expect, giving you full access to the features they would normally have. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, but while this is going on, your phone is still totally usable. Want to make a quick phone call or tweet from the app while you're working away in office? Go for it. To round off, I must admit Continuum is awesome. It's not perfect by any means, but it sure feels like a glimpse into a fully connected future. Universal apps also work really well, and the phone is usable while using it. On the bad side, the browser can be slow, and there is a big lack of universal apps. I kinda always thought it might end up like this, a single device that tackles every technical aspect of our lives. Let's imagine it, tablets are no more, PCs are gone, everything interfaces with one piece of technology, our ever beloved phones. Admittedly, we're far off that all-consuming, all-connected dream world, but Microsoft's continuum feels like a baby step in that somewhat futuristic and slightly scary direction. And you know what? I think I quite like it. Thanks for watching this review guys, and I'd love to know what you think about continuum, so do leave us a comment. I'll be uploading a Lumia 950 review soon as well, so stick around for that one and I will see you then. Goodbye.